good evening. Um, this is going to be good morning when, when we see this, but I just wanted um, everyone on this chat to introduce themselves real quick, so go ahead. Hi guys, you know me. It's Ms. Lamadani. Miss you all. Hi everyone, my name is uh, Mr. Husseini. I'm actually broadcasting live from Toronto. Um, here to talk a little bit about games with y'all. Awesome, and uh, thanks so much for having this conversation. So, um, yeah, if you can talk about uh, really quick uh, some different online gaming options and some things that uh, you're really interested in that you think uh, the students uh, would be really interested in as well. Right, so I guess I'll start by saying um, a little bit about uh, why I like to play games. I mean, a lot of us enjoy games mainly because they're fun, but I think that they're important because um, they allow you to disconnect and re-engage with fun things in a different way, get you thinking in a different way as well. So it kind of helps you do work later on also. It's a nice little break, recharges, and it gets your brain thinking in different ways that are easier to get. Um, there are some games um, that are a little bit more expensive, games such as Civilization, Sure. So um, I've been playing Civilization VI, which is an online civilization building game. I've been playing a lot with um, some of my family that's not in the same area as me when we're not able to like visit friends who live across the country. And I've been having a ton of fun with it, playing a game I like, but also using it to connect with people that I kind of missed during quarantine. Um, so basically, yeah, you build up civilizations, you try to outdo each other with uh science culture religion domination and all of that but it's a really fun way to kind of spread your imagination on this screen over here uh it's going to load and then the games tab just up here you're going to hit free to play and then that'll take you over here and everything on here is basically no holes barred you can take a look shop a little bit and see what you like uh there's tags over here to the right where you can click any of these and um, it'll kind of guide you. So if you're a multiplayer fan, you hit multiplayer, it's going to give you a whole bunch of different games over here. Absolutely. So Paper Games is over here. And uh, it gives you basically four games that you've played before, four games that you probably know about. Maybe the names, are, it should be there now. Yep. Uh, it gives you four games. So Tic-Tac-Toe, Connect 4, Gamoku, I'm not sure exactly what that is, but I feel like it's Chinese checkers, as well as uh, Battleship. And you can click any of these. So I would pick Connect Four because I think it's a lot of fun. You can play with a friend. You can create a tournament with multiple friends. And if, if you find that everyone's a little bit busy, um, you can always find someone from around the world. Apparently, people keep score over here. So that's always an option as well. And then you have the option to choose a difficulty level, easy, medium, hard, and evil. And then you get timed. It even it even tells you how you're doing. So if I put in a number over here and I know that's incorrect, it'll tell you it's wrong, that you can fix it and you can go through all of that. If you find it's really easy, you can move the difficulty level. And then there's a whole bunch of other games over here as well, like Kalkidoku and Philopix and Pick a Pick a and so online word game blast. So I don't have it. I like boggle, but I have some other games too that are like in-person games. So I've only really bought a few games of my own at this stage of life. So if I bought it, you know, I really enjoy it and I've played it a good bit. So I really like catchphrase, um, which if you've never played it, it gives you a word that you have to get other people to guess. Very similar to taboo, which I have way too much fun with in my circle of friends it's like our unofficial official it's our official game. so do you think that you would actually have to have taboo in order to be able to play it do you think you could make the cards on your own i think you probably could and it might actually be more fun that way to come up with what words you want to have folks get and um create that and then basically just set a timer and you have that long to um, get somebody to say it so clue you can find online, but one other game that you don't really need anything for is um, Mafia. It's a game where you basically sit around in a circle. There's a narrator and there are a couple people who are in the Mafia, a couple people who are civilians and they're competing against each other. The Mafia has to covertly um, coordinate killing people off while the civilians have to figure out who is in the Mafia, which is based on observation um, and all of that really fun it's one of those ones you have to play around to be honest in order to fully understand it but if you give it a shot i'm pretty sure you will like it board games if you have people in your house that you would like to play with 
um, is that it's a really cool way to connect with people on a regular basis during a time where some of us might feel a little bit more disconnected from folks than we normally would. I know that's really what um, I've been using them for. I hang out with my brother and play, sit with him all the time. Mr. Yeah, in, in terms of, yeah. sorry, yeah, in, in terms of like length or duration that you want to play, I mean, I know a lot of these games can get uh, somewhat addictive at times. Uh, so I think it's important to find that balance. It's just as if you were doing homework for four hours or six hours or five hours, you're going to get tired uh, and you're probably not going to do the best work either. It's probably not something you want to do. Just, similar to board games or, or games online, I think an hour, maybe give or take 30 minutes uh, is a, decent time frame in order to uh, get a game finished and, and really get the enjoyment of it as well. 